everyone, Linda here. I'm an independent Sensi consultant. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm back from my adventure in Florida. Uh, survived, had a great time. Got back a couple of days ago and um, yeah, had a really good time. Watched videos in my evenings, uh, catching up on everyone's vi uh, videos. I didn't get to comment on very many, but um, I did watch. Anyway, uh, while I was away, I was watching videos talking about the spring bricks and I decided I didn't want to wait. What I had planned initially was uh, it, they're available to everybody on April 10th and I thought, well, I'll do an in and out club on April 10th, order the bars in bar size because you will be able to put them in a club and order them that way. And then I'll pick my favorites and get a couple of bricks. Uh, but I was just too curious and listening to everyone talk about them. So I just went ahead and ordered them. And they arrived yesterday. So they're here. And I thought they're such a great value. A, um, you know, five and a half or five and three quarter bricks, uh, uh, bars in a brick. And um, plus I'm having a sip and sniff toward the end of April. I'll make a bunch of uh, samples for everyone. They can take the ones they like. So anyway, I got the bricks in there here and I'm gonna do a cold sniffs review. And then I had also decided, mm, cold sniffs review, Linda, everyone's done those. People are doing warming reviews, but you can't do anything. You can't order them till the 10th. So maybe I'll just throw my hat in the ring, give you my thoughts on cold. Um, I'll try to get to warming them as soon as I can. I do have a basket of empties because I did warm quite a bit before I left and then I warmed a couple in the last few days. So between that basket of empties and what I've been warming, uh, these bricks, I'll be able to do a video in a couple of days and give you uh, some after warming thoughts on the bricks. So anyway, here I am doing it. Um, before I start, I'm going to do a quick summary of the Sensepirations bars, the mango ones. Um, I hadn't thought about warming those or ordering and warming those either because I do, I have warm mango, go go mango. Uh, it's a mango floral scent and it's pleasant, but in my home it just does not perform and uh, I've tried it several times. I, I don't know whether it's the mango. Mango is a very subtle fruit, I think. It's not that obvious and so that and the floral, I could not smell it especially with air conditioned central air and windows open. Um, and so I just thought, no, but then I decided, no, 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 there might be a gem. There might be a gem in here. So I want, I decided to go ahead and try them. So I have warmed them all. I'm going to talk about those first. And the first one I'm going to go on about is uh, mango margarita. Now I did talk about it in a cold, my cold sniffs that I didn't think it smelled like a margarita at all. And I mean, I'm not just talking about a classic, you know, uh, lime and tequila margarita, but even margaritas that you order in a restaurant, a nice big icy goblet, they, they, they have, there's more to them than this. This smelt pretty ordinary. Uh, it is tropical fruits, mango, and sparkling citrus. I can't really smell anything distinctly. I can smell a little bit of tropical, like it's got a little bit of a, pineapple banana not really banana but that sort of tropical combination um i can smell a bit of mango and a tiny bit of citrus but not very citrus forward anyway it smells flat to me on cold so I'm, i put it in warmers in here they've been in the all day so far uh two alabasters 25 watt they perform really well and this is the smallest room in my main floor aside from my washroom uh, so, you know, this is the room. If, if it doesn't work in here, it's not going to work. Anyway, it's going. Uh, I shut the door and then put it in. And when it had warmed a couple of hours, I came back in and smelt it. It smells um, flat. There's no depth, no complexity. There's no, there's nothing unusual about it. It's just sort of there, flat. I'm sorry, I know a lot of people really, really like this as a favorite for them, but I don't get anything. I get a tiny bit of a, uh, like a salty, you know, a bit of a salty, but there's not a real sweetness. It's not, it's not even juicy smelling. It's just there. 
I don't know how to describe it. It has no levels or depth or, yeah. Anyway, this one is very plain for me and I would not repurchase I got I've got four more cubes. Um, I'll try it again. Uh, I'll mix it maybe with something. It just, it's not unpleasant. It's just not, it's just not special. Anyway, no for me on that one. The next one is the mango shortcake. Now I'm warming this right now in my kitchen. I am warming the mango matcha. That'll be in my What I've Been Warming review. Uh, that's one of the new releases. And I thought, well, I'll put mango shortcake in the kitchen. And this is warm baked cupcake, whipped vanilla and mango. And when you smell it on cold, it smells like a cupcake, like a vanilla cupcake. And there's a bit of mango, but again, mango is a really difficult fruit to smell. It's not like strawberry or apple or pear. Anyway, it's nice. It smells yummy. You can smell the vanilla uh, cupcake. And when I go into my kitchen now, it's been in there all day. When I go into my kitchen, if I walk past the warmer, I get just this faint sort of mist of cupcake. You know, you can just smell it. You don't really get the mango. You just get a bit of the cupcake. So it's very, it's nice, but it's a very light, very light. Um, but that might be nice in the summer, having a, a sweetness that's not cloying, you know, to put in your kitchen. It reminds me a lot of birthday wishes, but not as like birthday wishes performs way, way better than this. But it has a similar kind of kind of cake note, you know, cupcake note. Anyway, um, yeah, it's pretty. I might get one more bar, let it sit in the heat of summer try it again it's nice it's it's a yummy but it's just not very strong and then the last one is mango wildflower and this is wild hibiscus tropical freesia and juicy mango and on cold it smelled fl floral it had a bit of a hibiscus you know um i'm only basing hibiscus on the tea that i've smelt but um it had a bit of that and you can smell the freesia there's a floral but i love freesia i didn't i don't really get the really great freesia scent but it has a nice floral on cold i liked it i thought oh that'll be okay and the mango gives it a little twist mm. i'm warming it in my bedroom two warmers two 25 watt warmers two cubes in each warmer <laughs> put it in my bedroom shut the door um my husband and i went and ran errands when we got home we I went in there to get my slippers. He went in there to change into his man cave clothes. <laughs> we opened the door and we both stopped. <laughs> and he said, what is that? <laughs> and I said, wildflower mango, wildflower. <laughs> and we both looked at each other. Oh, it smells, I it just smells. <laughs> it does not smell like it does in cold. It smells floral. But it has, you know what it smells like? It smells like stale beer. It smells like beer, like the hops in beer. Like if you have a party and you have a bunch of beer bottles and you don't rinse them out and they're all sitting on your counter and you got that sort of beer smell in your kitchen. Um, I mean, here where I live in Alberta, we take our bottles back for deposit. So uh, we always rinse our bottles right away after we use them, whether it's, you know, pop or beer or anything and then we put him in a big bag and take them back for deposit um yeah <laughs> so i don't have beer smells hanging around my house but that's what it smells like it smells like stale beer i used to work in a in a student union bar before when i went to college before i went to university i i worked i worked in this student union pub essentially and at night after everybody went home we'd turn the lights on we'd have to go wipe the schmutz off all the tables, all the beer spilt and that sort of stale. That's what this smells like. Ah, it was, it's terrible. I might actually have to take it out of my warmers. I don't know. Anyway, it just is weird. It has a, a real weird note. I don't know if it's the mango with the flowers, although Gogo Mango has floral. I don't know. Anyway, mm, no. So out of these, maybe the shortcake one, Maybe, yeah, but that's okay. I, I can't like everything and some of you out there love them all. That's great. 
and it saves me money. <laughs> anyway, now let's get to the bricks. I'm gonna start the bricks in what I perceive as my least favorite to my favorite on cold, and then at the end, I maybe we'll adjust it, I don't know. I haven't smelled any of these except for this first one, which is my least favorite, just because I know what it smells like, and that's cucumber and cactus water. Now, a lot of people like, I like a green scent. Like, I like aloe vera and ivy, but that's a, a real green, but it's a sweet green. And this one here, you know me and cucumber. I'm not big on cucumber. So this is cucumber, cactus water, and sea salt. So you've got cucumber and sea salt. And um, one of the things I noticed, they came really, really cold when they were when they arrived, the day they arrived, but look at, they, they're cracked. So I can't flip this out right now because I think it'll, in fact, there's a little wedge here that uh, I can pop right out. <laughs> yeah, it's as I remember it, I warmed it last year. It's not horrible, it's green, like a very rich green scent. I definitely can smell the cucumber in this. The cucumber is definitely there. And it smells like, uh, and then the, you can smell the sea salt. I'm betting if I turned it over, but I can't because of the crack. I'm betting it uh, smells even more salty than, anyway, it's a very rich green cucumber salty bar. I think it would be actually quite refreshing in the summer. Um, it smells like a salad to me, like a salad. Like if you made a salad in the bowl and then you stuck your nose in, that's what it smells like. But, you know, not my favorite because I'm not keen on cucumber, but I appreciate the rich greenness of it. So I think I can work with this at some level. Like I wouldn't order more of it, but I could, I can use this up. And I think there might be a couple people in my girl gang who like this. So I'll make samples. The next one is, well, let me move this. The next one is summer berry melon and this one is cassava melon uh, strawberry raspberry pineapple and uh, on cold this one I can turn over it's okay I smell I can smell the strawberry and a, it, the raspberry but it's not strong usually raspberry dominates it's not I can smell pineapple for sure. And the cassava melon. Um, I have had cassava melon before, but I've always had it, I you, you know, in a cold soup or with cucumber or in a salad with cucumber. It's, it's, uh, it, it looks kind of like a, a very bumpy, very yellow, almost like the size of it, the ones I've seen uh, of an acorn squash kind of size with the, you know, ripples. Inside, it's got uh, the texture when you taste it. It's like an Asian pear almost. It's got a little bit of a watery. That's my experience with it. I haven't had a ton of it, but I have had it. And I've had it in a, in a cold soup. It's one of those melons you would use for something like that. Anyway, I don't really smell the melon so much. Um, but it does have a little bit of a pear note, and that might be the melon. Anyway, it smells like a nice berry, nothing special, not, not too interesting, but it looks like it, you know, and I can smell it, it ha, you know, it probably will do okay, you know. It has sort of like um, a sun-ripened berry depth that you smell on sun-ripened berry when you smell it on cold, but it's not as rich as sun-ripened berry has that bear, more berry. This has got with the melon and... Um, the pineapple, a little different depth, but yeah, because well, pineapple's a bit watery, cassava melon is a bit watery, you know, a strawberry is, yeah, anyway, not bad, could work with that. The next one is pink apple nectarine, and this one is pink apple nectarine, poppies, and sugar cane. And sugar cane, Sugar cane is a, a stock that you can like, back in the day, you, you know, uh, you could like chew on the ends of it and get sweetness. So 
I, I find sugar cane when it's, I mean, there's sugar cane and molasses, there's sugar cane and brown sugar, but they've added stuff to make it different. Uh, with just plain sugar cane, yeah. It's got a bit of a, a greenness to the sugar. Anyway, this is, this one has a crack in it too. I don't know if you can see that. I think I can flip it over. I'm not sure why all of these are cracked. I did hear somebody review it and say when they tried to cut them up, they were quite crumbly. This is very pretty. This smells very floral, actually, the poppies. But I, I've i grown poppies. I don't. They don't have a, a very robust scent, so I'm not sure why. Although I have smelt poppy in perfume, and that maybe. Um, anyway, this is... Pink apple is a very sweet apple. It's higher in sugar than a regular apple, so it's a very sweet apple. I don't, I get, don't get really any apple, maybe a little bit. I get the, a floral, but a fruit hint in the background, so it'll be a fruity floral. This might actually be, this is quite pretty. This smells like a perfume to me, actually. It smells perfumey, like a really nice, you know, summer, you know, spray of some kind yeah that might be nice i don't know the next one is orchard by the sea and this one is apple orchard sea salt sky and linen and green mango a lot of mango you know how we always talk about that there's always a scent that's sort of everywhere apple or a lot of apple this summer and a lot of mango this summer oh this one's hard to open. Oh. This one looks okay. Not too, such a pretty color. I love that. Hmm, interesting. So this is, I do smell the apple, the apple orchard with a bit of sea salt, a bit of sea salt sky. You know, that sky note. Don't smell any linen or the green mango. There's a slight muskiness to it, a slight muskiness, but not in a bad way. Yeah, maybe that's the linen. I would say it's not linen like uh, magnolia linen. It's more of a, yeah, it's more, yeah. Anyway, ooh, that's nice. Um, Not too salty, not too, not too, Sky either. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a sort of sky note that you get in Arctic Kiss that has, um, you know, uh, a, a melon note. It's a little zingier, fresher. This has got a little more of a musky note, like a maybe a little more laundry esque, but it has the same sort of sky. Anyway, that's not bad. And then the last one, Beach Daisy, which I know a lot of people love. I have never had this bar. I don't know where I was. I w I've been around. I've been a customer for like 12 years. <laughs> anyway, Beach Daisy is honeydew, green apple, and daisies. And daisies, I've grown daisies too, and they don't have a smell that I... Maybe a bit of a green, earthy, stocky smell. This one is a good shape. Very light. Mmm, pretty. Get a bit of apple. A bit of honeydew. Not really honeydew, but a bit of a a melon, a melony note, but not like that honeydew. But I think the sweetness may be of honeydew, because honeydew is a sweet melon. Pretty. Daisy. I guess a floral, a slight floral. Very light. Very light, let me break, let me just break the cubes off here. Mm, smells kind of beachy now when I break it off. It's got a bit of a, a beach smell. Not the, sea, not the sea salt beach smell, but kind of the lotion. 
Yeah, nice. I think it's really nice. That'll be a good one. I'm keen on that. Uh, it's very light though, so I'll be curious as how well it does. Uh, it's broken off a bit of crumbs. <laughs> anyway, very nice. So, I'm not sad about any of these. Um, I think my order is well placed because I think my order is staying the same. I think my favorite is going to be the Beach Daisy. I think I'm going to like Orchard by the Sea. It's got a nice freshness to it and it doesn't smell too... Uh, I can't believe how hard these are open. I can't... Um, it has a, a freshness but not a too aquatic or a masculine. I like it. I think it'll be nice. Orchard by the Sea. It'll all depend on warming because I'll tell you right now, cold and warm, as I can tell you from um, Wildflower, <laughs> can change dramatically. So, uh, but I like that. Uh, the th next one is Pink Apple Nectarine. I like that. It's like perfumey. It'll be pretty. I think it'll be a pretty summer. Not too, too cloying, not too heavy, not too floral. I think adding the floral, yeah, pretty and perfumey fruit. Yeah, I think adding the floral with um, with the fruit and giving it a perfumey edge uh, is going to be nice. Uh, again, I have to warm. It might, something might sneak its way out of there on warming. Summer berry melon. This one was nice. It's very just plain fruit, but not really robust fruit. Kind of a mixed bag, like a fruit salad. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I, I'll be curious how cute, it smells a bit cucumbery, like the cassava melon. It's got a bit of that sort of, yeah. I'll be curious how it warms, but. And then a uh, cucumber and cactus water, which is a nice lush green, too cucumbery for my tastes. I'd rather have aloe vera and ivy in a brick. But it's got a grassy, it smells like grass with an edge of cucumber, cactus water, cactus. What does cactus smell like? Cactus doesn't really smell. In fact, um, cactuses when they're rotting smell more than when they're healthy. Yeah, it'll be okay. And a bit of sea salt. Yeah. For a non cucumber like, I don't like cucumber scents. This won't be horrible. I, I remember warming it last year and um, it wasn't horrible or anything. I probably will mix this in the end, but it'll be a nice, fresh, and like I said, I think that some of my girl gang might like this one. So I'll make quite a few samples. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the bricks. Um, I'll get to warming those and share them when I do my what I've been warming. Uh, I do have a club that is shipping. It's my quarterly club. Uh, I have my quarterly club. I have some great bars in there. And my husband's quarterly club will ship in April. I have some great bars in there. I've stuff, I've stuck a bunch of the fall winter bars in both those clubs I've mentioned before because I did my hat club. That was an experiment. Good news, it's worked. Uh, as I mentioned, I did my hat club, put all the bars in there. I think there were something like, how many was there? I think 20 some odd bars. And then I doubled them all in case they didn't come back. I could have two of them. Uh, it's a big club, like 40 some odd bars based because I doubled up. And um, as I mentioned, I put them in a club in, while well, they were still active in February. Then I immediately skipped March 15th, which was when they would have shipped. That was fine. And then because March 15th has passed, I went in there just the other day and there they were. It says you can and then skip June. So I thought, okay, you, you know, I, either they'll stick around. So when I went to skip, it's, I got that orange warning, you know, not the red warning. So I thought, okay, I just sort of close my eyes and hit the button <laughs> and boom, they're all there and they don't ship until September. 
So I have things like uh, uh, um, Very Snowy Spruce and Christmas Cottage in in uh, my husband's club that is also in that one. And I don't really need any of those bars. I have a couple already in stock. So I might take it out of my husband's club. Just let it ship in that. And if they don't come back, I'll, leave, I'll keep them and have them ship from that third club. Anyway, <laughs> it worked. Uh, anyway, my club is coming. It's already printed, I think, so it should arrive. And as soon as I get that, I'll do, I'll share that with you. And then of course I'll do my warming one. And then as I mentioned, I have a couple of things on the go. So, but you know, heck, here I am. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for tuning in and, uh, Again, I appreciate your support and uh, thanks so much. Uh, I'll try to catch up on all the videos I missed. I missed a few and uh, love watching all of you. I love hearing your comments. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. See ya.